Hey guys, how you doing? Brian Holder here, Brian Holder Graphic Design. Got a great tutorial for you today about how to use the master frame in WYSIWYG Web Builder 8. So you've probably been wondering what that is if you're looking at this video. You've seen it in the program, you're not sure how to use it. I'm going to explain to you what it is and why you should be using it if you're not because it's going to save you a ton of time and it's real simple. So let's get into it. Let's pretend right now that this simple wireframe that I just loaded up right here is your website. And you have a header, you have a footer, and you have some content. But what the master frame does is allow you to create something like a header and the footer, the things that you see in the dark blue here, and that's going to be created on one page. And then all of your other pages in your website are represented by this light blue, and those can change. And what happens is when you load your website onto the computer um, from the internet the content page is automatically inserted into the master frame which would be where the header and the footer are and your master frame can be designed however you want so if we get rid of this and load up a second wireframe your master frame can have a header a sidebar and a footer and then you know this content can always change so I'm gonna get into this real quick let's uh, load up WYSIWYG and I'll show you what I'm looking at so here is um, a similar wireframe, and this is, these are just uh, shapes that I, I took from the sidebar here from the uh, toolbox area, drug it out, added some text to them so you can see them. And so when we load this up into a preview, you can see that all we have is a header, a sidebar, and a footer. And let's just pretend that they're styled nicely and that there's a nice navigation menu up here. Your sidebar has some navigation links and maybe a website login or something like that, a contact form. Your footer has all of your footer information. Let's just pretend for now. So what I'm going to show you to do is how to create a master frame out of this. Okay. So what we're going to do is, let's say this is my index page. This is my, my main page. This is what this looks like when we load it up, right? Pretty boring, right? I got a nice little, uh, nice little background graphic, some boxes down here, a little block of text mainly for SEO, some testimonials, whatever. Typical, uh, you know, typical home page. Um, I already pre-designed that, so that way we could save a little bit of time here. Um, so now what I'm going to do is show you how I can insert what we have here on this page into this page, okay? And so all you got to do is once you have this created. You have your header, your footer, and whatever other elements you want on your master page uh, created, then you you would just insert the other page doing this. Uh, you go down to your uh, toolbox into the advanced right here, and you're going to grab the master, oh no, I'm sorry, the content placeholder, and I want this to be about the same size as this. I'm using a padding here of about 10 pixels, so uh, I believe that I need this to be right there. Let me just move this over to zero. And I think I want this to be 910 wide, I think. Yep. 910 wide. How tall is this? 350 pixels. So I'll just clone that. 350 pixels tall. Okay. And now my now this page on my website is a master frame because any any page that I want to insert, I can insert right into here. Okay. So let me show you how to do that. You take, you go to your page that you want to insert. You go to Page Properties, Miscellaneous, and you're going to select that Master Frame as your. And I named it Master Frame to make it easy, as the Master Frame. And you hit OK. So now, when I load up this page and preview it, you can see that it's inserted into this Master Frame. And there's my footer, there's my sidebar, and there's my header. Okay. And it's really that simple. So now that's the index page. Now I'll, oops, oh, I hit new tab. Uh, now I would just clone this page, make this say about us, right? And get rid of all this stuff. Maybe uh, get rid of this. Drag this up here. Let's just pretend like this is about us. Copy all that. Control C. Control V, Control V, boom, boom. So, and what was the uh, the width here? We were dealing with 910, right? And so now, when I preview this About Us page, you can see it's also now inserted into here. But I'm only using one master frame. So now, when I have links in my navigation bar 
or I want to update what my sidebar looks like, or I want to change the date on my copyright, or add links to my footer, or subtract links, whatever I want to change, I don't have to go through and change every single page. I just have to change this master frame one time. And that's going to change all of the headers, and all of the sidebars, and all of the footers, on all of my pages instantly. So hopefully that helped you guys. If you found something useful, please hit the plus one button on, for the Google. Hit the, hit the thumbs up for the YouTube. Share this, this puppy with your friends. Um, post it on a forum somewhere. I don't care. Just get it out there because that really helps me, motivates me to want to do more of these for you. Uh, hit the subscribe button too if you want. I'm trying to kick as many of these out as I can, but got a lot of, a lot of limited time. So I appreciate it. Thank you so much, and we'll catch you on the next one. Later.